I love seeing things from above. I think it's a perspective most people aren't used to. Um, and from above you can see the expanse of things. I like finding um, something. I like photographing uh, not super high from like a couple hundred feet so you can you can look down but you can also see the scale, you can see the expanse of things, see the world uh, from the air but three-dimensionally at the same time. A few years ago National Geographic asked me to uh, photograph a story about feeding nine billion, how we're gonna meet the, the ever-expanding food needs of humanity. And as part of that story I went to China and I was quite astounded by what I saw, uh, which was the, the, the scale of food production in China, what it's like to feed the most populous country in the world. And I also became uh, quickly aware of the, the trouble China has in feeding itself. Well, as China's modernized and it's, the, the, the general wealth has increased, uh, people are consuming a lot more protein and dairy products than they used to. And the challenge is to feed all those pigs, cows, chickens, ducks, and frogs. Well, the thing that struck me the most is, is, is the, the, well, the challenge of, of trying to modernize uh, a, a system for so many people, but also what, what the impacts are for the rest of the planet if the Chinese uh, consume uh, food the way that we do in Europe or the United States with so much meat and dairy product. Um, I don't know how we're going to do that with the resources on our planet. My, my primary camera is a, is a Canon 5D SR and I, I love it. It's got a super high resolution sensor and it's really good in, in low light. Um, and my favorite lens is a 24 to 70 zoom. I'll probably take two, th three quarters of my pictures with that one lens. Um, and, uh, but I also have, you know, I, I have telephotos and super wides and other things too, but I find I can do almost everything with that one lens. The, the best tool is great knowledge and research and, and having a, a really good knowledge of your subject. Uh, if you look at the, the history of food production, how we've been able to get, make, uh, grow more and more with, uh, with the same amount of land, um, uh, that's very, those numbers are very impressive. And I also think people can change their behavior. Uh, but I think we have to you know, realize, for example, like our oceans are a limited resource and we can't, we can't fish them all out. And, and we can't cut down every tree in the Amazon to plant more corn. So I think we have to um, start adjusting some of our behavior to, to consume a little bit uh, less intensively.